Welcome back you lovely buns. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. Right, in my last vlog, I did talk about, well, well I did have a bit of a moan actually, and thank you all. You're amazing. You, you genuinely are. I say this a lot actually, but well, it's because I mean it. So a lot of times on social media, people can be pretty harsh in the comments, but not in my comment section. You guys are proper nice, so thank you very much. So new bike day, got myself an e-bike to play with. It's not actually a Marin. So I do get offered a lot of stuff on the channel, and honestly, I like riding bikes. So when I get offered an e-bike, I'm, I'm not gonna say no, am I? Like, I'm just gonna build it up, have a little bit of a ride on it, have some fun on it. Like, why not? So I have been sent the Ellie Glide. Can you see this? You can't see it. The box is humongous and it weighs about 500 kilos. But yeah, Ellie Glide M1. So for anyone that's not based in the UK, at the moment in the UK, well I suppose this is all around the world, the prices are quite high for everything and our electricity prices have just gone like massively up. So I'm estimating the cost of charging this bike at about 15,000 pounds for a fully charged bike. Putin's gone mad, I mean he was always mad, but like he's gone more mad and has decided to like invade the world. He's gone on his Adolf Hitler one. And um, so now everything's gone up in price and that includes like electricity prices. So plugging in a bike is a lot more expensive to charge. There we go, that was like slightly serious. Look at me dealing with current events. I'm gonna get rid of this box and I'm gonna show you what's inside. It's like a mountain bike, hardtail, kind of commute -y. I'll show you, let's get rid of this box and... Look at that, magic, oh my God. Look, this is it. Here we go, beautifully packaged, I've gotta say that. Oh. Wow, that is a weighty thing. Yeah, so this is the Ellie Glide M1. It's got a 250 watt motor. So we're gonna build this. Oh my God, this is a beast. <laughs> this is a beast. We're gonna build this up and, and go for a bit of a ride. But the one thing I have just remembered is that I need to charge it before going for a ride. I was about to say, I think I'm addicted to new bikes or just bikes in general. And then I look around my house and it's literally filled to the brim with bikes of all different types. I think it is getting to the point where I have a bit of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's just a matter of putting the bars on, putting the wheels on, and then you're ready to go. Sorry, I'm waffling. I'm all excited and a bit confused. Let's build the bike. Right, so let's liberate this bike from its packaging. Ugh. So what I am gonna do, I am gonna swap the tires. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the CST all terrains. Not like all terrain, all terrains. Like all of them, every one of them. I'm gonna put these Goodyear counties on instead. One, because they're tan wall, but two, like, I mean, it's Goodyear, isn't it? And like, they really are all terrain. So we'll be giving it a massive tire upgrade straight away. So I do ride a lot of bikes on this channel, right? And the thing is that I don't even know how much my cheapest bike is. I suppose my cheapest bike is probably my track bike. And that's probably like nearing 2000 pounds. And then, you know, when you've got like the Steyr, which is like a custom steel frame with like Altegra. Then I've got the Yolio with the E-Tap on it, like my gravel bike. I have a lot of high-end bikes. So it's quite nice to actually try out something that's not, well, like a high-end bike. Like this is certainly not a high-end bike. And actually, if you go to the link down below, there we go, here's the plug, 41% off this bike. So it's 599 pound. So if you want like a little bit of a like fun pub bike, you know, or something for your mum, pretty reasonable for an e-bike. I mean, well, I haven't ridden it yet. So like hold off on going and clicking the link and buying it until we've gone for a ride. I kind of know what to expect. And I do find actually, this isn't like me being weird. I've worked on a lot of bikes. So there's a Shimano Tawny rear mech. So where I used to work at the Vela Park, we had a lot of bikes that had real cheap group sets on them. And honestly, those group sets worked better than some of the like more modern higher end group sets that I've used. They just seemed to be indestructible. Like the shifting wasn't as smooth, I'm gonna be honest. And obviously they didn't have an 11 speed. This is only a six speed. I did notice that like, you know, they are heavier. The shifting's not as crisp and as clean and they're not as refined. You still get a really robust setup that works like flawlessly. So one thing I can confidently say is, I'm pointing at scissors because I mean this. I do find these cheaper Shimano group sets really good. Just because you're not spending loads of money, it doesn't mean that it should be rubbish. Like, yes, it'll be heavier. It might not be as refined, but it still works, you know, and it should still work. So yeah, good set of gears on it, basically, is what I'm saying. Nothing like posh, fancy, but it will do the job. So it's got a rear wheel motor in it, 250 watts. So I think that combined with like your own wattage, that should get you up like most hills, I think, you know, relatively easily. Waffling, 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 as per usual. Time is ticking and I need to start building this bike. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop waffling for a second. It's like a really nice little paint job. And it has got a warning on the stem. It says, never ride your bicycle without a qualified helmet. A qualified helmet. I love like mistranslated English. I just love it. Sorry, I shouldn't be like taking the mick out of like something that I'm reviewing, but um, but it's funny. Right, do you want some details? 
I can never remember anything, so I'm sorry for reading these straight off on my phone. But honestly, it's the only way I'm going to remember this. So, right, so like I said, yeah, it's got a 250 watt brushless motor. I've got no idea what brushless means. It means there's no paint brushes in it. So, if anyone can tell me what brushless motors mean, let me know down below, you e-bike like aficionados, like then, then you can tell me. So it has three riding modes and five power levels. Obviously, we're just going to pick the fastest power and drain the battery as fast as we can. Obviously, if you ride with the higher power, it makes the battery last a lot less time. And if you're a bit more reserved on the power, it will last you a little bit longer. So I was just talking about how many gears it had, and I said it's a six-speed at the back. Um, it's not, so it's a good job. I read this, it's a 21 speed, and I just counted the cogs, and there are seven there, so seven times three is apparently 21. By the way, I'm rubbish at maths. Hydraulic suspension with a lockout. Quite often, on like more entry-level bikes, the suspension is somewhat lacking, so I'd be interested to see like how it actually feels when I'm riding, because it's a heavy bike. This does say that if you ride it in assisted mode, it will do 65 kilometers of supported like assistance. And it will do 30 kilometers on electric mode. So I don't know how far it will go on a super fast mode. More than likely, I'll take it out, I'll drain the battery, and then I'll have to ride home up all the hills with no assist. That'll be fun. So it does have like mechanical disc brakes, and I think, what's the weight? So it weighs 21 kilos. That's a hefty bike. It is quite weighty, but e-bikes are always heavy. And you've got the assisted motor, so you don't really notice as much. Anyway. There's some info about what this bike has and, and bits and bobs. Yeah, Shimano Tawny rear mech, and then it's got a Suntour front mech. So, so like I said earlier, the gears should be fairly decent. Oh, God. <laughs> so let's change these tires. That's like the important thing. I mean, there is totally no need for me to be changing this tire, other than the fact, well, one, I'm not sponsored by Goodyear. So, you know, like, I like their tires and I want to use their tires, and two, Tan walls make everything better. I've had these tires for a while and I've been wanting to try them out and I've just had nothing to put them on. Put that over there. I'm gonna do the back one and give you a bit of a like. I keep on doing that and then I keep on stopping and just having a chat. Verbal diarrhea Dave, you know? Bit of a funky paint job on the top tube. Nice branded stuff on the side. I'll be honest, it's pretty basic. And when you're buying a an e-bike that costs like, what, 600 pounds, you're not gonna be getting like DI2, you're not gonna be getting like Dura-Ace or E-Tap, you just don't. I mean, it's not bad, you know? It has your control panel thing up here for all your different modes, so you can just switch between those really easily. You've got your bell, always good to have a bell. Three-speed shifter on the left, and then your seven-speed shifter on the right, so it gives you 21 speed, not 18. The fork does have a lockout. I'm gonna be honest, it's like, does feel a little bit flimsy so like I wouldn't be taking this off any like drops but it's a city bike you're not you know you're gonna be dropping off a curb that's about it they don't actually say how long the battery lasts so I will have to charge this so I'll let you know in the description how long the battery life is how long it takes to charge etc a Shimano Tawny rear mech and then it has a Suntour something they're just quite simple they do the job you know everything is quite basic but well the tires are the tires are sick and that is the Goodyear counties look at them oh it looks awesome doesn't it with a tan wall yeah, comfy seat. There we go, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it seems you can set it up with a throttle for actually just like that more like wing moped use, um, or you can use it as an e-bike, assisted bike, and the motor only kicks in when you're pedaling and you need to pedal for the motor to engage. That's what I think, I might be wrong. We're gonna have to take it for a ride to find out. Well, that's quite cool though, I like the light. Look. The light. This is the Ellie Glide M1. I'm gonna get charging it and I'm gonna take it for a bit of a spin. And if you click the link down below, you can get it quite cheap. You might wanna wait until I've ridden it first, but if you're really keen, you can pop down there, click that link and get a 41% off. Massive thanks to Ellie Glide as well for sending me over this bike to test out. So I have had quite a few comments about people asking for me to test out and try out bikes that aren't just crazy high end and crazy expensive. So like, whilst it's not a gravel bike, I, I should do like an entry level gravel bike, right? Or a mid level. I think that'll be quite interesting. Bit different to the custom stayer. I think um, like one of the wheels on my stayer costs more than this entire bike. So I'm gonna leave it here, plug it into charge, probably take my gravel bike out for a bit of a shred because it's looking quite nice outside and I will catch you guys very soon. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, we're nearly on 20K, so definitely, definitely nearly subscribe. We're like a thousand subs away nearly from 20,000 subs, so that's mega. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are amazing and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.